I bet a lot of you have seen greens on NBA 2K20 this year that look a little bit like this. Heavily contested green light. But today's video is not about that at all. And by the way, that's not actually a 20% covered. Look at this shot right here. No takeover. Heavily contested. Not even a green. And it goes in. Now, you might be saying, oh, badge plug. You just got lucky, right? Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do this with no takeover over and over. Make sure to strap in. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And let's get into it. All right, so in today's video, I'm on a playmaking shot creating build, which depending on how you make it is always close to a pure sharp or is a pure sharp on NBA 2K20. So this is a legend build that gets 32 Hall of Fame shooting badges. And in the last video, a lot of people didn't understand the point, but you can do this legend or not and i'm going to explain why in just a second okay so a three level score has a higher three point attribute than this build this one has a 91 or 92 plus it gets 30 hall of fame shooting badges okay now i'm not saying you have to have a pure sharp to do this at all but i'm just saying this build only has two more hall of fame shooting badges then a three level score okay so in today's video i'm playing with a two-way slashing playmaker my boy flexing and you already know like i said i'm on the playmaking shot creator now i found out a way to hit contested shots on nba 2k20 without takeover and without dimer check this out my boy's gonna drive down he's gonna pass me the ball he didn't want to guard me i wanted him to contest me so that i could shoot it five percent white and it goes in now that does not matter you're gonna see some crazy stuff in a second now you're gonna be wondering batch plug how in the world did you do this? How did you figure this out? Well, I was actually going for a different sort of video, which you guys might see in a few days if it works or not. It's going to be something crazy, okay? Get this video to 10,000 likes while we're at it, man. Make sure to drop a like before we really get into it, okay? So like I said, man, I figured out how to hit contested shots without being in takeover, okay? You don't need sharpshooting takeover. You don't need nothing, all right? So check this out. I'm in takeover now, 11 points. Now, we've all seen this year a bunch of videos, if you haven't seen from the intro, contested shots going in with Steady Shooter, okay? Most overpowered badge we've ever seen. Check this out right here. Boom. First shot, green. Easy. Like it was nothing, okay? Now, he really wasn't contesting it that much, and it's whatever. 52%. If you've seen Steady Shooter videos, that's actually not as bad as some of them are you can hit 100 percent covered shots i'm just showing you guys the intro for those of you that haven't seen how broken steady shooter is check this out boom nothing he could do about it green heavily contested shot how does that happen 2k now watch 17 to 3 once again that should have been a block and i get a green on the shot no hesitation just straight pulling up so if you haven't seen how overpowered steady shooter is well there you go and if you have seen it before that is still so interesting to watch because why would 2k let that happen in their game why would they put a badge in the game where literally there's nothing you can do to contest a shot no matter what if someone times it right it's going to go in now in yesterday's video a lot of people took it the wrong way a lot of people don't get me wrong understood the point of the video but the point was that any build in this game with an extremely low three-point rating as long as you're above like a 45 you can shoot threes consistently in the corner or wherever you're at on the court it depends on you know your hot spots and who's passing the ball with dimer and all that but basically rating in this game does not matter at all for shooting threes unless you have like a 33 pointer now in today's video we're going to be breaking down how to shoot contested three-pointers without even being in the sharpshooting takeover because a lot of videos this year just like in the first video you've seen people hitting contested shots in takeover heavily contested does not matter it goes in and this video is not about that at all i'm going to teach you guys how to do it without even being in takeover you don't have to have sharpshooting takeover or nothing like that and also it doesn't even have to be off dimer some of those shots that i hit were not even with dimer or nothing like that so like i was saying in the first gameplay you see me miss wide open this is a video on how to hit contested shots. So you see me miss wide open. That is not about that at all. It gave me a full bar. It's whatever. But the way that I came up with this, I didn't want to tell you, but I have to tell you so you can understand how I came up with this. So I was trying to hit the first flexible release Hall of Fame all the way bounce back steady shooter contested shot. Now, the way that I was going with that is my teammate has on Hall of Fame Dimer, Hall of Fame Floor General, which boosts my stats, right? I got sharpshooting takeover. I got hot spots, jump shot boost, Hall of Fame catch and shoot. So all those add up to making my player have a crazy high three-point rating and i was trying to hit a all the way bounce back and i just could not 
get it to work. Now, I am going to be using a legend three level score with 40 Hall of Fame badges, and I'm going to try to get it to work. So if you guys want me to do that, get this video to 10,000 likes because I'll be the first person to ever do that. I'm trying to say, I'm, I mean, I'm trying to hit those consistently is what I'm saying. So while I was doing that, you see right here, nine points in the game, 60% field goal. While I was doing that, check it out. We got to the main point finally. Boom. No dime or nothing. Look at the contest. Bow. Hitting those shots on a white. On a white. 62% not in takeover. Now, as soon as that happened, I thought about in the beginning of the year when I had shot creating takeover. And also, this happened a lot last year. Check it out. Contested off the dimer heavily heavily a white and it goes in steady shooter most broken badge in the game okay we're gonna talk about that in just a second after i get over the actual point of the video but last year in 2k19 and this year in 2k20 when i had shot creating takeover on my build every time right before i got into takeover i would hit some crazy contested shots now you guys have seen some clips earlier where i did it without even being close to being in takeover but i think that is the key if you're close to takeover, check out this green right here. Get off the court. Nothing he can do about it. Literally nothing. But if you are one score away from takeover, you can hit crazy contested shots. Look at that right there. That was a heavily contest, and I wasn't even near the takeover. So if you have Hall of Fame steady shooter, you can actually make those shots. Look at this one right here. Just like in the intro, you see I'm making these shots without even being in takeover. Now, in this next game, you're going to see it again, okay? Okay. So when you're in that shot creating takeover and you're about to get it, you can hit like a 50% covered shot. It's basically like you already have takeover before your build even gets it. So it just depends on if 2K wants you to make it or not. But even without being one shot away from takeover, like you've seen, you can still do it off whites, not even greens not even greens ladies and gentlemen that's how broken nba 2k20 is so you're gonna see in this gameplay but now we have to talk about why steady shooter is in nba 2k20 and then once we get closer to takeover you guys are gonna see what i do and how broken this game is so in the first video if you haven't seen it go watch the last video we talked about how to hit threes with a super low contestant and how broken that is because there's basically no reason to have a three-point rating if every build can make a three, you know what I'm saying? As long as you have like five shooting badges, you can literally make every single shot. Now I'm gonna make a video very soon with like two to three shooting badges probably, and I'm gonna be hitting every single shot just to show you guys that I do not need the legend. And that was just to, you know, show you guys an example in the video, okay? In this gameplay, why do you think now my boy Oxy is throwing up some bricks? I have no clue what this man is doing. He said he was delayed in this game, but why would 2K let this badge be in the game? why it completely removes all skill in the game all you have to do is literally stand there and then time your shot correctly the only way i figured out now you might be able to make them i've seen people make them but the only way to even make someone miss in that takeover you can hit the whites like you've seen you can still hit whites but the only way to really make them miss consistently is to get them that crazy fade away animation other than that you can literally shoot 100% contested shots and they're going to go in sharp shooting takeover or not. Now, if you're, you know, a paint beast with a 33 point rating, obviously this video does not comply to you. You know what I'm saying? This is not for every single build in the game. This is for any build that's probably above like a 75 three point rating. You can do this. Check this out. What is happening 2K? Why in the world? Now, I, I really don't understand why more people don't use this badge. 69 percent covered now the easiest way to do it is to have hall of fame catch and shoot you know your teammate has hall of fame dimer they pass you you're in sharp shooting takeover and you just basically can't miss you've seen me wide open and i don't even want to shoot the ball i literally don't want to shoot unless this man is contesting me so look at this right here green he doesn't even want to guard me anymore he literally does not want to guard me because it doesn't matter if he does or not it's still going to go in i don't understand why 2k would put this badge in the game but hopefully i can hit that green for you guys coming up because that is going to be crazy i'm not not a green sorry all the way bounce back with hall of fame flexible release but contested i'm trying to see if i can hit those consistently okay if i can do that man i don't know i've officially broken nba 2k20 but with these last two videos it proves that shooting in 2k21 
needs to be looked at okay hit that subscribe button drop a like on this video if you haven't yet Bro shooting in this game is just broken super broken it's your boy badge plug you have been plugged in and i'm out peace